Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis was a Hungarian doctor of German descent. He is known as a pioneer of antiseptic procedures. He was dubbed the savior of mothers because he discovered that the occurrence of porporal fever could be drastically reduced by disinfecting hands in obstetric clinics. Porporal fever often occurred in hospitals in the mid-19th century and often had fatal consequences. Semmelweis proposed that doctors wash their hands with a chlorinated lime solution. This proposal was made in 1847, while he was working at the first obstetric clinic of the Vienna General Hospital. Because the death rate in the doctor's ward there was three times higher than the death rate in the midwife's ward. He wrote a book about his discovery titled Die Etiology, Der Begriff and Die Prophylax Deck in Bet Fiebers, although he published results showing that hand disinfection reduced the death rate to below 1%. Semmelweis's observations contradicted the accepted medical opinion of the time, leading the medical community to reject this idea. Semmelweis could not scientifically explain why his discovery could reduce the death rate, and some doctors felt offended by the suggestion that they wash their hands first. Semmelweis's practice was only widely accepted after his death, especially after Louis Pasteur successfully proved the truth of the germ theory and after Joseph Lister performed surgeries with hygienic and highly successful methods. The book Semmelweis published regarding this phenomenon received various negative reviews. He retaliated against the criticism and accused doctors who did not wash their hands of being killers when his contract at the Vienna hospital was not renewed. Semmelweis returned to Hungary in his hometown. He volunteered as an honorary doctor at a small obstetrics clinic at the Schindrokas Hospital, Budapest, both at that hospital and at the maternity clinic at the University of Pest, where he later taught. The spread of porporal fever continued unchecked. The situation began to improve only when Semmelweis intervened. However, criticism of his theory persisted. Semmelweis's anger at his colleagues' reluctance to adopt his methods continued to grow. In 1861, Semmelweis's behavior became erratic. For years later, he was committed to a mental hospital. A friend took Semmelweis to the Vienna hospital under the pretext of visiting a new medical institution. When Semmelweis realized what was actually happening and tried to escape, the hospital guards brutally beat him. They strapped a straight jacket onto Semmelweis's body and locked him in a dark cell. Two weeks after the incident, Semmelweis died from infection wounds on his right arm. At that time, he was 47 years old. Semmelweis would not play any role in the subsequent changes. Initiated by pioneers, however, Semmelweis's reputation was eventually rehabilitated. Hand hygiene is now widely recognized as one of the most important elements in preventing infections in hospitals. With that, we conclude this unique fact. Share this story with your friends and comment on what you have learned from this fact. See you in the next episode for more interesting stories.